Hey guys, what is going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be checking out uh, my favorite formation and tactics to use in the FIFA 20 demo. i got to really stress that it is a demo version of the game, so this might not transfer over to the full game. But for those of you that's going to, that's going to be uh, share playing via PlayStation against your buddies, or you use the, the Mixer streaming app to be able to play against your buddies, because you could do that on Xbox as well. You guys should search that up if you guys do want to play against each other um, on Xbox. Um, we are checking out just the demo stuff, okay? So it's, you know. Um, my favorite team to use on the demo is Borussia Dortmund. I think they play really, really well in game. I think the way that I position certain players in certain positions just, I don't know, they just work for me. I think their general movement is honestly really, really nice. So we're just going to go Borussia Dortmund to Chelsea just to get some uh, things going here. But my favorite formation to use so far in the demo is the 4-2-3-1. Um, and... When I say it's my favorite formation, it's just my favorite balance formation. Because you guys know how I am when I play FIFA. I always switch formations due to how my opponent is playing. If my opponent is playing a certain way, attacking against me a certain way, defending against me a certain way, I will counter my formation against his to be able to uh, to be able to counter whatever he's doing. It doesn't always work. People are just sick of this game sometimes. But it's how I view football and FIFA. I try to use tactics to... Um, win against my opponent, right? But the 4 2 3 one is the most balanced. Why? Because if someone's using a 4-3-3, three, three, a 4-2-3-1, whatever it is, your left mids, right mids, CDMs, and cams is a very, very good balance between everything. Your attack is not that great. It's a little bit more slow. It's a little bit slower, right? But you guys know how I attack anyways. It's not really like quick and direct and fast, right? So... I do try to do some passing plays to get past the defense, which you guys will be able to see in these game highlights as well. But the way that I line up the team uh, with Borussia Dortmund is like this. So I'll put Thorgan Hazard, uh, Hazard on the left side, Royce in the middle, Sancho on the right, Alcacer as a striker, blah, 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 right? Uh, Pishek I take out. I put Hakimi in there because Hakimi obviously has got the pace, you know, if you search a... Uh, and the cool thing is you can see the things on the top. You can see the things on the right nowadays. So 77 pace against 92 pace. Obviously a big difference, especially the dribbling as well, right? So um, the way that the tactics are set up is like this. So I actually keep it unbalanced. And this is a problem in this game right now is that even when you play unbalanced, your players drop back way too much, drop back more than they should, right? But it is what it is. So you can see that my uh, depth is already set to six on default. I just put the width lower by four because the left mids and right mids compensate for those fullback areas. Uh, balanced on the offense as well. The width, I'm always changing between one, two, and three, depending on how my opponent is playing. I like to have it around the two or the three mark. And then the players in the box, I have it set to three to have some players making the runs in the box. But my CDMs and my cam likes to stay on the edge of the box, um, depending on their characteristics, right? Sometimes certain players will run inside the box, but it depends on who you're using, right? So um, if you feel like... Because the thing is this, right? If you put if you put your cam to stay on the edge of, stay on the, edge of the box always... It makes your play a little bit more predictable, whereas if you have them on balance and you don't tell them what to do, it makes it less predictable because they're moving in a certain way where your opponent can't always read what he's going to do, right? Um, but yeah, this is how I set it up in game. The highlights you guys are going to see is exactly how I have them set up uh, over here. Uh, the instructions are set like this. So I have it on stay back while attacking for the CDMs. Witzel is amazing, by the way, and a big reason why he's so good is because... Um, they finally made him, I think, a medium-high work rate of player. I think last year he was a medium-medium. He's got the pace, defending, physical, dribbling, passing, shoot. Like, he's he's just a monster. This guy's an absolute beast, right? Four-star, four-star. This guy is definitely going to be one of the most sought-after CDMs in the game uh, when it comes out because he's just going to be a monster. I'm, I, this is just a demo, but I played it with him on the beta, too, and he's just... He's something else, man. He's a sick player. Uh, Royce is... Royce is Royce. Royce is going to be a monster, too. Um, but Akanji's great, right? Hummels, eh, he's slow, but, you know, it's just the demo, too. Uh, if you if the pace bothers you that much, you know, you put someone like Zagadu in. Diallo's no longer here because he was transferred recently. But, uh, yeah, you could just put Hummels there. You could switch uh, Witzel to a center back spot and then put, like, uh, Julian... Julian? Julian Weigel? I don't know if this is his full... I don't know if Julian is his first name. Um... But yeah, you could put him as the CDM, you know, and, and just have two good center backs and whatnot, right? Um, but yeah, this is how the team is set up. 
The instructions are stay back while attacking and cover center for the CDMs. And then the, the fullbacks are on stay back while attacking. Because obviously, when I... This is all... Guys, when you play FIFA or football games, it's all based on how you attack and how you defend, right? When I am playing, when I am using the left mids and right mids, I always like to transition back. So because I like to transition back, I don't like when my fullback overcommits. So telling him to stay back while attacking allows me to pass the ball to him and then be able to pass it back to the CDMs that are on stay back while attacking and cover center, right? Because my attacking instructions for balance are not crazy, as you can see here, my tactics are set to three players in the box just have a little bit of a presence pushing up right i like to transition back i don't like to cross the ball that often unless it's like an obvious opportunity so everything you do in fifa depends on your play style this play style right here might not work for you right and there's going to be a lot of formation and tactics that i'm going to be putting out this year that i like that you may not like right so at the end of the day when you play fifa you know, try to feel out the game as best as you possibly can, right? And understand where what you want your players to do. If you want your players to make certain runs in certain positions or come close or whatever it is, that's on you to figure out what works best for uh, for your teams. But that's pretty much it. Gonna go, that's going to conclude it for the formation and tactics part um, of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the game highlights. We scored some nice goals in the game. Some of the skill moves, uh, the new skill moves are actually very helpful. One of them is the uh l1 and then use the right stick to flick side to side it's a very very helpful skill once again to the spaces you guys will see that in the highlights as well so thank you guys so much for the support you guys have shown the youtube channel recently i really appreciate it i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys Mbappe with it. Let's just name on. nice goal even when you don't use the drop back tactic, it feels like that's what uh, the ideal situation is. Nice. Julian Brandt. Back under it still be around, but they certainly bounce back and of course got to the Champions League final in 2013. They are a fabulous football club league. Well they are one word springs to mind for me, charisma. Oh, that's a nice goal. That's a class goal right there, chat. Nice. Great goal, man. Oh, that was an insane deflection. Nice goal, man.
the, uh, the group stage is an introduction to everybody, to all the teams that are in the competition. I think that's... Oh, they got the forge ahead. There it is. That's a good angle to use that skill move. Nice goal, nice goal. Nice goal. Politics like to complain about video games, but like video games is like the escape of this bullshit, you know? What a goal, chat.